Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. We're coming up on Zora's Domain here, and I see a bunch of ice and a bunch of snow, so, uh... It appears as though Zora's Domain has this natural tendency to just randomly be froze over for no reason. So, what we're actually in right now is Zora's Domain. This is the village of the Zoras. And it's solid ice. That's kind of a cool little structure, though. So that's actually a waterfall there that's been frozen over. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Why don't I see any, then? Yep. Well, anyway, let's check things out. Well, even Midna sounds depressed. <laughs> you know it's bad. Let's see, you can... Yeah, I can't really see anything under the ice. So you want to head up here, and if it's not obvious, we're going to need to do some midna jumps up this little waterfall. But this is actually quite tricky compared to every other midna jump you've done. So uh, you do actually want to take your time on this. Things will fall down at you, you'll slip off the side if you go too fast. That's basically your first hint that things will fall on you. So basically just make sure you're safe each time you jump. Especially from this one. If you're not careful, those will knock you down, and if you're just mashing A, then you'll drop yourself off of that ledge. So, you know, you really gotta watch out and be careful, but as long as you keep your wits about you, then that's really not that difficult either. So this part up here that we're going to is, uh, I believe it's called Zora's Fountain. And there's uh, obviously some shadow beings around, and this wall is blocking me from this one, so let's take care of it. And then take care of these two. No problem. You know, it's really nice that every time you kill shadow beings, it opens up a portal for you to use. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe here the world of light for a moment, let me know and I'll take you there. Yeah, so you can pretty much warp wherever you want at will now. Like, you can go all the way back to Orden Village if you so desire. So what do you got to say, Midna? Whoa, hey. Down. Look below the ice. Huh? Spirits. Holy crap. Man. So these are all the Zoras and they appear to have been frozen under the ice. Probably without their knowledge, because, you know, they're just kind of swimming around casually. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. Well, look at Minda starting to show some compassion for once. Let's leave and come back later. This portal should work for us, so we just need to find a way to melt the ice. She doesn't really give you any hints here, um, but if you remember from when we went back to Death Mountain, that huge, gigantic rock that dropped out on us that she's like, whoa, was that the traditional Death Mountain welcome? Ee hee, you remember that part? We actually need to go get that rock, and uh, <laughs> as violent as it sounds, we need to shove it into that area so it'll uh, both break the ice and melt it at the same time because it's uh, pretty hot. So this thing's been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. So let's warp it up here to Zora's Domain. <laughs> the Goron just kind of standing there while all this is going on. He's literally just looking at that thing float up out of the ground. I would be freaking out if that was happening in front of me. So now we're warping back to Zora's Domain. Melting the ice and hopefully fixing this place. And... Boom! Awesome. So apparently it's so hot that it instantaneously melts everything. And forms basically a giant hot spring <laughs> at the at the top of this river here. But at least everything's flowing again and uh, it appears as though the Zoras have been able to get out. So there we go. See, we, we still managed to fix everything, and we haven't even saved the world from Twilight yet. We haven't even met with the Light Spirit yet. 
Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Tell me about it. So, let's go. I don't know, can we finally? Let's talk to these guys first. C cough. I guess she probably didn't say cough, but... Half huff. Yeah, yeah, automatopoeia, we know. So basically, they all pretty much do the same thing. Oh, this guy seems to be standing up pretty well. Someone helped me? No, it just magically fixed itself. What do you think? Wait. Uh, who could be talking to me? I, don't, I didn't think anybody knew I was here. It's a Zora ghost? I see. Called Rutella. Yeah, Zelda games tend to have this uh, habit of reusing names. Uh, not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. Yeah, you know, because Rutella is dangerously close to Ruto, the Zora from Ocarina of Time, so... But oh well. And then they even use, like, Mallow and Tallow for the kids back there, like Malon and Talon from, uh, from the Lon Lon Ranch. So, uh, apparently this was, like, the queen of the Zoras, and, uh, if we save her kid, she's gonna give us the protection of water to, uh, the ability to swim and respire in very deep water. Yeah, you couldn't just say breathe. So, uh, hmm, if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like a Zora, huh? Well, what do you say, hero? <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good point, actually. Ah, uh, nice try. I see what you did there. No, we're still gonna return the world to light. Sorry. Because, you know, as soon as we do that, I won't be a wolf anymore, so... There, there's a few holes in your logic here, Midna. Anyway, it's miraculously raining now and giving us even more water. There's some awesome waterfalls, and this place actually looks decent to be around. Minus the big black squares floating around everywhere. This water should flow all the way down to the lake, so let's, uh, yeah, we can pretty much just get an instantaneous warp back to the lake. Whee! So that's always fun. And we don't even have to do anything, we just get warped straight to where we need to go. Like, literally, we get put right in front of the, uh, the Spirit Spring area. So this is, like, Hylia now that the water's been refilled, and we're actually introduced to it this time. And if you couldn't guess, that's where we need to be heading. Aren't you awake yet? Yeah, actually, I am. And talk about lucky. Yeah, really. So now we can head to that big red circle, finally. Whoa, don't go too far. <laughs> and now we can speak. I am the last of the spirits of light, consumed by twilight. Hero, chosen one of the gods, you've done well. Yeah, yeah, gather the light. We know. Let's cut the crap and get down to brass tacks here. So, yeah, just let me go. I know, dark insects, they're invisible, I have to use my senses, yada yada. So we're gonna be bug collecting one more time, we get to play Exterminator again. And uh, if we take a look on the map here, as soon as we get out, they're actually pretty far spread out. There's a whole bunch around here. Um, well, well, they're all around here. See, there's one in Hyrule Village, there's a few down here in Lake Hylia, there's a few along the way up to Zora's Domain, there's some in Zora's Domain. So we're gonna have to do quite a bit of exploring this time in order to actually find them all. But uh, as long as you look at the map, you know, <laughs> it's actually not that bad. So before I chase after that one that uh, that sprinted off on me, I'm going to come over here to this little island first. And we can find this one. Oh, <laughs> somehow I, I went like right through it. That was weird. There we go. And we get our first tier of Laneru province. Now I want to be heading back. And we're going to be chasing after that one and getting all of its little buddies that are over there. So let's just make it back up here.
climb up this little bridge here. And... He's right here. Got him. Alright, now there's one that's sort of up on a raised area over here. Oh, wait. <laughs> First we got a battle, of course. Uh, but this is nice. This war point's actually going to get used quite a bit. Because it's the only... It's really the, the best way into Lake Hylia. Especially if you want to get down to the bottom part. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I think... Yeah, there's one over here by himself. Let's take care of it. Whoa. <laughs> that camera went kind of crazy there. Draw this one over here. And get them both. That was kind of close, actually. Well, anyway, now that we've defeated those shadow beings, I'm out of time. So in the next part, we'll get some more invisible bugs. So thanks for watching. See you next time.